we were at level 6.5 motorsports, okay? We do a lot of rust repair, okay? There's a little bit of rust here in this firewall, and we're gonna fix it up, okay? Right now, Robert, he's a new hire, okay? He gonna scotch right up here on this cow, see? Cause you can't be, you can't be priming over this shiny metal, see? I know we got a little rust here, but here at level 6.5 motorsports, okay, we're gonna take care of this rust, cause we can't have that, you know what I mean? Can't be going to Dino's on that rust, you know what I'm saying? What's up guys? Welcome to United by Trucks. Second video on the build of this truck, but it's actually the first video where some work is actually taking place. Some's already taken place. What you doing there, Wesley? Bad, bad. Hey Mike, um, you got to take this seat. When Trey was backing the boat off, the whole thing twisted up and uh, I'm pretty sure you can take your dolly and hammer and, oh wait, there we go, it's coming right back. Crisis averted, oh, we're good, crisis averted, we're so good. did the bolt come out? The bolt is stuck, but we're gonna weld it all back in. For what? Why? This is the uh, the part in the inner fender in the back that, that keeps all the rust from going up there, rusting out the truck. It didn't work. We got more to come in this video. So you're gonna probably see a couple of days mashed together here, but Mike has been doing some great work on this cab, getting the rust repair ready. We've already got the frame stripped down and some other stuff going in the bed and with a front clip that we're gonna show you. I've been out of town for a couple of days. As you know, we're trying to get this ready for Dino's, even though we're doing a massive, or he is doing a massive amount of rust repair. We just don't have the time to bring every single step to you. So Mike's gonna give us an update on what he's gotten done the last couple of days on the cab, and we'll have more, especially as it comes time to put in the floor, get the floor in. We're gonna catch you up to date right here, and then we're gonna get started on getting the chassis over to powder, start bolting up suspension components and running brake lines and doing all the fun stuff. So right now we're gonna catch up with Mike and see what he's done on the truck from a rust repair perspective. We're standing here looking at the floor. Yeah. And uh, Mike, Yeah. tell everybody how mad you are at me. Well, you know, <laughs> it's pleasant, you know, let me tell you. You don't look real mad. Uh, it's not bad. It's, uh, the floor looks terrible, but with all things considered, it's gonna be the, probably one of the easiest things to repair because basically take the old stuff out and we have a whole new piece. Yep. You know? There'll probably be some form fitment around that new piece because a lot of it's gone. So we'll figure that out as the time comes. But we had a lot of other rust in other places that, you know, normally you wouldn't have, you know. Yeah, and they were really a surprise to me. Yeah. I mean, I got to say, you know, as much as I didn't look this thing over as well as I should have, even still, I don't know if I would have seen some of this. Yeah. You know? And it, it's, when you're looking at a project like this, a lot of times people will see like a rusty floor or whatever, and they're like, oh, well, that's not that bad. We'll just fix that. Well, usually there's things that have rotted out that has caused the floor to rot out. So there's usually underlying things that were an issue that caused that big issue. And this issue was a combination of vandalism, you know, it didn't have no windows in it, but one thing you always end up with on square bodies is a window leaking right here in this corner, and it'll leak water down into the cab and rot a floor out. Your mat will get wet and it'll just sit in there and just rot the floor right out. This cab did have that. I don't think it's the main cause of all of that, but <laughs> there was a rat's nest in this A-pillar. Like you can see, there's a repair that I've started here. There was a rat's nest living up in here and uh, I think some urine and everything had rotted the inside of this A-pillar all out. So we had to cut a section out, repair the inside of it, and then weld, make a new piece and repair it. This piece here was rotted off where the fender bolts to. So we remade that. This piece, this pinch here where the cowl goes was rotted off. And then on these trucks, you see this all the time. This whole seam was gone. You know, that's, I mean, that's kind of normal on these 70s, you know, early 80s trucks. This seam in here will be all rotted out. So we've repaired all that. Yeah, and you can even see down in here, 
yeah. where a lot of that repair has happened. And it's, we haven't, you know, we're not even gonna, actually gonna do a lot of finish work down in there. We're just gonna give it to you straight. We'll seam seal it, paint it blue. You know, obviously we've still got some repair that we need to do on the firewall on the bottom lip where the floor welds to. Luckily, AMD is coming out with these new panels. You know, they have this upper cowl panel. It fits really, really, really good. I've done nothing to the panel other than set it up here and put a couple of self tappers in it to hold it there. And it fits, it fits really, really well. Especially when you get off into a scenario like this where Mike was talking about, hey, you know, you kind of know that the floor is gonna need it, but there's probably something else going on up here and Mike found it all. There was a lot going on up here. Yeah. Mike cut it off here, right where he needed it. There's, yeah. you know, but you could go all the way up. There's a seam here where the replacement panel goes up under the roof. So if you wanted to, you could peel your roof skin off and replace the whole panel. It's always quicker to do it that way. Like if you had like this, this part of this cowl was rotted out here. You know, instead of just repairing this section and reshaping all of this metal, you would just drill the whole panel off and then put a new panel on. If the panel was in good quality, it would fit, you know, relatively easily, which this panel is of great quality. So you just fit it right back on there, zap some spot welds back in it, you know, and you're good to go. You could get it done relatively quickly without much, you know, fabrication yeah so. yeah you can see that like the holes are lining up here in the firewall even over here where the master where jesse had already done some of his stuff all that fits really nicely it, it, it really does seem like a super quality piece and just to show you a little bit about kind of some of the work mike had to do on the cow i mean you can really see it from the back here like a lot all that new metal up in there is you know is stuff that he's been spending the last couple of days working on and I just gotta say, man, you can badmouth me all you want. I am super appreciative. <laughs> it is uh, really working out a lot better than I thought. And when I walked in the shop this morning, I was like, man, we might actually make this. We got quite a bit of work to do on this truck or really over the next 40 days now. And uh, you can see the rear suspension's all out, rear end's out from under it, front suspension's off. So. Once we get the cab braced up, I'm gonna help Mike get, get all the cab braced up before we move, remove it from the frame. We'll probably need to set a door before we remove it from the frame, just kind of see how that stuff is fitting. The frame will go to powder, the cab will come off, and Mike will get it in a place where he can cut the floor out and bring, I think you're gonna bring the floor in from the bottom. Is that really yeah. what your plan is right now? Yep, you cut the cab corners off and uh, you'll pull the floor up from the bottom. You could probably cut the floor in half and put a half in and a half in if you really wanted to, but I ain't know about all that. No, nah. the bottom six inches at least is gonna be replaced of the cab. So we'll be some patina blending, there'll be some paint blending that we're gonna do there. And we'll uh, bring you as much information on that as we can. Real quick, let me show you something in the bed floor here. So I mentioned I was going to C10 Nationals this weekend, but Mike and Churchill and Wesson we got that OEM floor in the bed, which is a Big, big time save for us. That fit really, really well. And then on the front clip, they started stripping out all the stuff we didn't need and got the new AMD inner fenders in. So those should fit really nicely. Yeah, it and all the rust that comes with it. Yes. I just love that this thing still got good support mirrors. Yeah, we gotta go like this. All right guys, so what you can figure out is we're setting the doors, just try to get the gap right before Mike cuts the floor out of this thing. Let me see if I can. I'm gonna try to overcompensate. Since that right there is what it does. this on the trailer and get it over to Custom Coders ATL for a little blasting. There you go. You want to go towards your little bat yeah, brown sit on your paint? On bat, there you go. Yeah, strap her on now. Michael Jack himself, he said. Ah! Um, 
There's that Mississippi mud. Okay, so chassis out from under the truck. We're gonna run this over to Scott's at Custom Coders and have it blasted. Then we're gonna bring it back here, do a little sweet patina treatment on it. And uh, yeah, one step closer. All right guys, I'm up at Custom Coders, about to drop this chassis off to have it sandblasted by our buddy Scott and his team. You know, they, these guys always take great care of us when it comes to blasting or coating or something like that. So uh, I think I'm about to pull it around this corner to the blasting area, but before I got all the way back here, I wanted to make sure I could get our chassis blasted and I'm gonna get it back to the shop and coat it in that sweet patina blackout. So it's all just, it's no new control arms and no new K member. We use stock control arms. It's kind of their uh, static performance inspired. Is this coil over? No, it's not coil over. Thanks for all your help, man. You got it, man. I'm, I'm really pumped. This is Scott Harper from Custom Cutters ATL. I've already given a little intro like always, but uh, they're gonna get the chassis blasted for us. I got a little blast area back here. These guys are always just so helpful for with all our coating needs. We actually just dropped off some billet wheels to be coated. So just big thanks, Scott. You Appreciate it. you always working with us, man. Thank you guys. All right, guys, so chassis off. That'll get sand blasted there. We're back in the shop, working on all the rust repairs you've seen. He's gonna give us a quick update and then we're gonna, well, get back on this and make progress towards sliding the floor up in here. So y'all hang on. Okay, Mike, tell everybody what they want to hear because everybody just wants to really be mad at me about this. <laughs> <Let's> beat you <laughs> up. Um, so obviously we had extensive uh, floor rot and then pretty much everything attached to the floor is rotted also, which included these kick panels down here. This whole area, I mean, it was just gone. This side wasn't as bad as the passenger side. I actually had to come in behind here and fix a bunch of this stuff on the passenger side. It, it got pretty extensive, but yeah, we had to repair all of this stuff. I've, I've had to come up in here and repair part of the firewall on both sides. And then we're gonna obviously repair the bottom of the firewall here where it is all destroyed. Yeah, so we're gonna pick the cab up off the jack stands and then I'm gonna clean the rest of the old floor out because you know we still have chunks of the old floors in here. Yeah, and a rocker, stuff like that. We're gonna get it out and then get the new floor, hopefully slid up in here and mock it up and then um, see what we gotta do there and then get the new floor welded in and then start doing the, the cab corners and rockers and, and back cab panel and then you know the firewall. Sweet. Probably won't get it all done in one day. But. Oh gosh, no. No, 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 no. But try. major progress. I just, you know, once again, huge thanks for tackling this. I know it's just way more than even both of us expected, but the kicks look good. Yeah. <laughs> they sure do. But this cab looks a lot better without that floor, I should say. We're getting on it. His paint was gonna be off a little over here though. You think I'm gonna have to cut that? No, no, I think we're just gonna be a little bit too wide still. Yeah. So we'll, we'll have to, we'll see where we're at. Let's put it up in there. I saved the rubber piece here, just so you know the door shuts quiet. What I need is my gloves on. You want me to get them? Yeah. 
Alright, we'll wait for you. No, let's do it. Come on. Go get your gloves before you come yeah, out. Monitor there. my truck. You got some dishpan hands, you're gonna cut them. Dishpan, you're right. There'll be blood everywhere. Yeah. It's gonna be like a murder scene up in here. I'm trying to get them gloves, you can see me from a mile away. That means good gloves. Oh, I know, I like the way they fit. So too. you get transmission fluid on them, then they turn into the world's slippery as shit. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, these will work. Thanks, Mike. <laughs> Here, I gotta go up first. Okay. Just tell me what you're doing. You're still Way wide, Mike. I can't get all the way in. You're like two feet, I mean two inches wide. Well, I got it. I got it. Okay. You go look at that. <laughs> Go to the middle. Go to the middle, Rob. Hold it. Is that inner rocker in there, Wes? I can't see from over here. Well, yeah, but you're hitting over here. Yeah, you're up. I think we're going to have to cut this. This whole corner's hanging off over here a whole inch. Cut in between. You know the two spot weld spots? Yeah. Airsoft? You want to go up, Mike? All right, come on. All right, so what I need... I think we're going to end up picking the cab up. It's It fell back over. It's still hitting on the rocker because the rocker is bad. Oh, I see. Go. There you go. Whatever that was, it freed it up. You pull up, man. I'm gonna, there you go. Right here's the pro part of the problem, too. Want? Just this little piece. So, like, it's wanting to go back and it'll get right to there. But that seems to be holding it too. I'm trying to hold the cab in place if y'all want to pull and push and do the whole deal. I need like three more people. Yeah. Um, All right, guys, you're seeing that we got the floor up in here for the first time. Obviously, a lot of adjustments that need to be made, but new metal going back in. Help Mike if we go ahead and pull that corner back so this can come up in here more. That's what I'm trying to do. I just got to pitch that in over there. Got it. Ah. Hold on. Wesley, I'm trying to get yeah. this one out. Can you look down in here and see what's hitting in here? It's just rubbing on the bottom of this. That, same, that so. same thing. If, it goes, if you can get it in the spot where I can move it back, I can move it. Much closer, but we can take it. This end of this cap's got to come up and over this way, and then this end's got to come this way. Oh, my. We're almost there, dude. All right, I'm, up, I'm inside that metal piece now. Can we clamp that right there? I'll tell you though, we're not like, things aren't looking far off though. Like, even in here. And Okay, so okay. floor is in. Mike is irritated. Actually, he's not. He's in a great mood. 
but uh, the floor oh, no, is. Oh I'm irritated. <laughs> the floor is set up in here. We're clamping it. Mike's figuring out where he needs to trim. Where you know we're trying to get that fine little adjustment on it. The only thing that he, that we really had to trim to kind of get it up in here was just a little section on the back here. And the guys at AMD and others I've talked to who've done this told me the same thing that we may have to trim this piece that kind of fits up behind this corner here. So we did do that, trimmed that much off. But for the most part, it's up in there. Cover a little spot well, keep me driving it down the road. What you think, Wesley? It may not sit on there straight, but it's on there. <laughs> we'll blame it on Jesse's cab mounts, won't we? <laughs> Listen, people. This is a Chinese floor going in an American made truck. It don't fit where the ass. Look at this. There's metal missing. Look it. It's metal missing. Some BS. Hide your wives. Jerry Churchill's here. This truck ain't ranked at all. <laughs> oh, you're gonna act like we like to do it? If I push really hard on Trey, everyone's going down. Okay, well, if you back into the gym, I'm going to smack you That's off. a good point. That's a good point. Are you touching me? <laughs> he didn't even know I was touching you. <laughs> I was touching What are we doing? I don't know. I'm looking at the floor to see how level this shit works. My knee is on fire. What are we doing? I went. I knew something was going on. I was like, dang, they in there like, holy <laughs> crap on it. Taco in the bed floor back yeah. here. You might be able to. When I get to looking for that beer, that's where I put it. Mike's been getting a lot of work done on the floor. Time for me to do a little scuffy. Just gonna start scuffing all the new metal, get it ready for primer and paint. And um, yeah, that's about it. You got anything to add, Mike? Is this recording? Yeah, it's on right now. That's how I was talking to it. So is that GoPro down there. Hit me with it, dude. Here at level 6.5 motorsports, okay? We do a lot of rust repair, okay? There's a little bit of rust here in this firewall. So we're gonna fix it up, okay? Right now, Robert, he's a new hire, okay? He gonna scotch right up here on his cow, see? Cause you can't be, you can't be priming over this shiny metal, see? I know we got a little rust here, but here at level 6.5 motorsports, okay, we're gonna take care of this rust cause we can't have that, you know what I mean? Can't be going to Dino's on that rust, you know what I'm saying? You never have to sneak on camera again. That was the greatest thing I have ever seen. Dude, thank you. That was that was worth everything. I want to just go ahead and move that. So you can see we got this off the uh, trans jack or trans stands and um, got it on the table. So I'm about to unbolt the inner structure here, but Mike says we're going to have to cut it out. So that should be interesting. So we'll get going on that. Oh, Lordy. Why is dirt still falling out of this? Shit? Uh, yeah, I think it's gonna, it's gonna be that way for a while there, Mike. Keep driving the damn. Watch. 
gonna be amazing. Rocky's gonna have like an aircraft goggles on. <laughs> exactly. I don't know what it is about this thing. <laughs> we had like there was like youtube rated like tbma yeah you know? like, like but there were special like rules like whatever gets posted on here like it don't matter you can't like cancel these dicks dude this ain't gonna work yeah, tilt it Robbie, this ain't gonna work. Mike, I told you this wasn't gonna work. I mean, that's that's helping for sure. All right, there Robbie, this is gonna work. This is gonna work. Oh God! Oh jeez! Oh Lord! Oh, Mr. Watch the camera, Mike. This camera. I was watching it the whole time. Were you? Yeah. Mike, come on, way better than you found it, right? True. Here's the floor people. No, this is just the floor. This isn't floor people. Okay. Sure. But it's new metal in. I think Mike would still say there's quite a bit to do. Yeah, as he, as <laughs> yeah just... Mike would say that. <laughs> <laughs> what else would Mike say, Mike? I feel like you need some therapy time. No, it's Sunday. What's the date though? Ooh, great question. Let me check my phone. Maybe we shouldn't check this. <laughs> I mean, it's like, it's, it's uh... It's or something? Oh. Sunday, October 9th. Oh, damn! It's I October. said it was the 3rd. No, no, it's the 9th. Yikes. So, uh, and we, we got some, some thrashers coming here in a couple of days, don't we? Yeah. We'll have a little fun. Maybe to about level 6.5. Level 6.5 motorsports going to be here. <laughs> it's going to be fun. I wouldn't say full force, though. They're going to be like medium force. Medium force? Because they're going to work in here with us. <laughs> Fair enough. Fair enough. The mic, dude, it's looking great, man. Looking super good. I really appreciate all the extra effort. Because this is like, well, the last time. You'll have to do it like this. It's like ever or just for you? Oh, uh, ooh, well just for me. Because you get to choose like if you accept this with anyone else. Yeah. I feel like you're not I mean it's just off the table for me from here on out. I tell you, if someone else was at me with this BS, I'm gonna like listen. Yeah. Let me tell you what all's involved in that. Go watch this video and times that times a hundred. How many square footage is your house? I'm gonna need that house. <laughs> <laughs> so seriously, thanks man, and we're like rocking and rolling. Um, I'm actually going to get the chassis tomorrow from Custom Coders. Scott got that knocked out for us. Uh, we got the motor back today. You're going to see a whole other video on that right after this one. And uh, yeah, I think that's going to wrap this video. Inner structure is out. Floor is in. Still some work to do on the cab, but man, it has come in all the way. You guys have seen a lot of it right here. I didn't even expect that. So we're gonna uh, we're gonna leave you right here. We'll catch up with you in the next episode where we'll be doing some some engine talk. We'll be talking about drivetrain. So see you then. Thanks for tuning in. Cue the music.